<laughs> in fact, it's the opposite of what we're doing. I've been actually tell there's been one person who's been so highly critical of me, highly critical of me, highly critical of me, highly critical of me playing Pokemon. There was one person who was leaving comments on all the videos. Last night, I'm playing Horizon Forbidden West, and they came and ranted at the end of my stream in the stream chat. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, look at the top of his head. <laughs> Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen. You may know me as the Grim Reaper or the Grim's List. Anyways, today I'm going to debunk DSP Gaming. So just to get a little background, DSP Gaming is known for begging for money. Earlier today, the stream was slow. It wasn't as slow as now, but it was pretty slow. Then, I got tons of chargebacks that negated any positive benefit and my videos got claimed on YouTube. Alright, tonight I don't know what's going on. There's like no contributions, and you guys are just asking me stupid ass questions instead of kind of having conversation. I'd like to have a nice stream tonight. So if you guys could like actually have fun conversation instead of stupid shit, I would appreciate that. And if someone would actually like to contribute tonight, I'd appreciate that too. Again, I'm not saying anyone has to. I'm not saying anyone has to. Um, but it would really be appreciated considering that it's been a pretty shitty slow day today. And I need to raise funds right now for games in the next week, okay? <laughs> You serious? <clears throat> so, thanks to anyone who does. If it doesn't happen, I guess it doesn't happen. There's nothing I can do, right? Okay, let's continue. These nuts. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right, as you can see from the clip, one thing you need to know as a YouTuber, you should never be begging for money. It is also important to know, this is why a lot of people troll DSP Gaming. Because he makes himself out to be the joke. And honestly, I can see why people love trolling him. Not only that, but he can't take criticism, any shape or form. You're better off responding to positivity than negative comments if you're gonna act like that. Because reacting to the trolls only feeds them. To my opinion, he deserves what he gets. Anyways, let's start getting into the next clip. Do I know what a rainy day fund is? Yeah, it's called when you actually have extra money on top of your standard of, not, of financial obligations. It's money you save up so that when a day comes, when it's say, oh, you're going to do something, but now there's nothing to do today because it's raining out or it ruined your plans or you just have a random day when you just want to do something different, you can spend that money on it. It's basically money you save up just to blow on, on a special day when normally you're going to do one thing and you can't do that anymore, right? Like, oh, we were going to go out to the beach today uh you know but it rained so instead of going to the beach we're gonna go to the bowling alley and bowl and do some arc and go to the arcade and play some games or something you know what i mean that's a rainy day fun let me just respond to dsp gaming comment Rainy Day Fund does not mean what DSP Gaming was saying. Rainy Day Fund is kinda like an emergency fund. It's a portion of amount of money that you use in case you need it if you have less money than you might have expected in the monthly bill. And it's used to get whatever you need, not for entertainment. At this point, he should have just called it Entertainment Fund. I don't think there's a such thing as Entertainment Fund, but at least it would have been more honest and clear. Here's the definition of Rainy Day Fund. A Rainy Day Fund is for smaller, unanticipated expenses, such as buying new tires or paying to repair a home. Appliance. Now, if you want to pause the video, if you want to read the entire thing, go ahead. I just wanted to clarify what Rainy Day Fund means. And now, let's get to the next clip. This is... The stream ends and people are whining on the fucking stream. Oh no. Oh, Phil's using lightning. Oh, oh. 
What's funny is that DSP Gaming makes it sound like he never complains like that. Literally all his podcast is him complaining and rambling on the whole way through his podcast. Anyways, let's look at the next clip. Literally the reactions. I'm not joking. That clicked the wrong thing. Hold on. Literally the reactions. I'm like, what are you fucking shitting me? They're acting like whining babies. Oh, how dare Phil improve his build. So now as he continues to play the game, he'll be more versatile and probably won't be stomped into paste by every fucking enemy that he encounters. Seriously. They were complaining that I started using ranged attacks. <clears throat> I give up. I officially give up trying to please those morons. I just, I totally give up. There's no way you can please those people. Because I have now slightly improved my gameplay style because that's what the game actually intends. Forget the fact that I'm literally not using ashes to summon assists for any boss fights, right? I've completely wrote, written that out. I did it like once and all I saw was complaints about it. It makes the game too easy. So I decided I will not do summons for boss fights. I'll just fight them one-on-one -on -one like it's always been in Dark Souls, okay? So already I'm completely ignoring a gameplay mechanic to make the game harder for me, okay? Then I get a good weapon. Why? Because I basically had not so good weapons for a while. To All right, let me be clear and honest. I have seen DSP Gaming playing video games. He is not the best at playing video games at all. He is honestly probably one of the worst gamers I've seen. But I do know that he does get trolled a lot. But him reacting to everyone who trolls him just makes things worse. Just play the game how you want to play and stop reacting to trolls. But obviously, he'll never learn how to not take criticism. Anyways, let's get to the next clip. Kagome, okay, let me... Honest answer, or honest question for Kagome, because I feel like Kagome is not the kind of person who I was talking about this morning. So for those who don't know... On the pre-stream podcast, I was discussing my Elden Ring playthrough and how there's a certain group of people who essentially, no matter how I play it or what I do, they're not they're not satisfied. They complain every time that I succeed at something. All they want to see me do is fail. And I was explaining how, since Elden Ring has come out, my wife and I have actually checked out a few other people's playthroughs, including a couple pro-level players who are known for putting out FromSoft content at high level. And absolutely not a single person, low level, high level, no one is using a death counter but me. I haven't found a single content creator yet who's counting their deaths actively on screen in Elden Ring. So, I proposed the question this morning, is there really any purpose to it besides people who are trolling and want to make fun of the fact that I fail and I don't just succeed nonstop, you know? And quite frankly... Alright, dude, just play the freaking game. I get it. You can't take criticism, but you got to learn to take criticism. This is also one of the reasons why people keep trolling you. But honestly, he always complains about at least something. Either the comment, the trolls, money, or the game. And obviously, there's more things he complains about. But most times, you see, he complains about those four things I was talking about normally. And now, you're gonna be able to watch a bunch of different clips of him complaining about his gaming performance. Can't parry. I'm trying very hard to parry, and I can't parry anything he does. Can't block the fireball from that range, seriously. I seriously can't stop anything he does. It won't let me. It won't let me parry. It won't let me do anything. I can't. I can't parry any moves he does now. In order to win that fight, you have to parry everything with Hugo. And if he easy parries, then you can counter hit him. I can't parry his damn thing. I'm like, parry, please. Anything. One hit of anything, please. A parry. <laughs> Nothing. It wouldn't give me any parries at all. Unreal. So without parries, you cannot win that fight. It's one of, like I said, it's actually one of the hardest fights in the game because all of Ken's jumping hurricane kicks have insane priority and you have to parry each hit. And then when you land, you have a chance to counterattack as he's recovering from the aerial move, but it's very hard to do. And try doing that in lag. Fucking impossible. Oh my God, you fucking such full of shit. You're so lucky. <laughs> the Hail Mary toss.
Yeah, this is nonsense. It, that was 100% online abuse right now. It is. It's 100% online abuse what they're doing. Yup. It's all online abuse. It's not actual hit strings that work offline. But they're doing these moves that for some reason I can't interrupt or punish. It's bullshit. That was actually not good Chun-Li play at all. Those are completely unsafe hit strings that they were doing. And I should have been able to counter throw through them. Or blow through them. And the game wouldn't let me do it. Because of the online play. So. Ridiculous. The guy basically jumps around and mashes buttons. And he's getting away with it because of the lag. Whatever. I definitely should have won that one. <clears throat> he's doing jumping jab which doesn't work. I'll tell you right now it doesn't work. Yeah. He, look at that. He's hitting me with stuff that doesn't work. It's because of the lag. He's jumping and doing medium punch. That doesn't stuff your jump attack with Sean Lee. Your kick beats it. But I can't get my kick to come out because of the lag. Ooh, that's my throw. That should have hit. What the fuck? It lagged up when I jumped and my move didn't come out. Thank you. Suck it. <clears throat> Frustrating. It's frustrating playing matches like that when half my shit doesn't come out. <sighs> Alright, now that you got the idea of the SP Gaming, I think it's important for you guys to know that I'll be making a response towards a surformed friend. However, I won't be reacting to this person's video. Instead, I'll be explaining why did I make a video about Acer Form. Anyways, like, subscribe for more. And if you don't, you're gonna have to live with this. <laughs> Using ranged attacks and lightning. <laughs> and comment down below what you think of this video. Peace out.